Hello, this is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. I've really enjoyed doing this channel, doing these videos. Uh, in a way, it's therapy for me. I get to talk about shit that bothers me, shit that I've learned, shit that really pisses me off. You know, <laughs> I've gotten a lot out of it personally that way. I've gotten to share my stories with people. I think I'm helping others. I know you guys are helping me because I read your comments and I'm picking up little nuggets of truth along the way and little, oh shit, why didn't I see that as well? So not only am I uh, the teacher, but I'm the learner, as it were. At the very least, I'm a, uh, a compatriot to you guys. So I did a, uh, you know, I did a cost-benefit analysis of, uh, of having a woman. And someone recommended, hey, do risk analysis, you know. Do risk analysis. I thought, oh, shit, yeah, that'd be a great video to do, but how do I do it? So it took me a few days just kind of working on it in the back of my med. How do you do risk analysis for having a woman? So I came up with a way to present it. I hope you guys like it. So let's take a look. All right, and we'll turn the old camera. Okay, risk and reward, having a woman. The traditional graph goes from zero all the way up to 100 in order to get 100 percent satisfied with anything you've got to risk 100 percent you know that's the standard basic graph okay but having a woman that comes in a lot of different flavors right it depends on what you want to do with a woman what you want to do with your life and that kind of determines the risk and reward that you're getting at okay so let's start with number one a girlfriend I've got her represented with a blue box and shading. Okay, this is just a girlfriend, right? You stand a chance of coming somewhere, you know, 70 to 100% satisfied. And you're only risking, yeah, you know, 10%. 10% of your life you risk with this woman. You know, what are the risks, you know, of having a girlfriend? Well, you can get some horrible VD and your, nut, your nuts fall off, right? That's not a good thing to have happen. Another small risk is, you know, she could cause trouble for you with the law. She could claim that you raped her. And, you know, let me put this blue dot up here. You know, if you get hit on that one, she nails you and fucks you up, you've lost everything. But you're getting 100% satisfaction. That's what you're risking there. But, yeah, they can now claim rape. Have you fucked up? Right? So claim domestic abuse, battery. That is a possibility. It's slim. It doesn't happen often. For, for the most part, what do you risk? Eh, she could piss off some of your friends. She could start making your life miserable. But she's just a girlfriend. Dump the bitch, right? Okay, so then you move up to the next level of woman. The live-in. Live-in girlfriend, right? She's got some potential to stay around. What are you risking with her? What's your reward with that woman? Well... You know, once they start living with you, the benefits kind of settle down, right? You're not going to get that 100% satisfaction level. In fact, you may only get down to about 50% of what you want, 60% of what you want. She's living with you. She's kind of used to her place. Eh, she's not going to try as hard. You're going to find out, well, she's really not a good cook, or she doesn't want to clean, or whatever the fucking deal is. Usually, this is what happens with live-ins. The rewards go down. The rewards go down with the live-in woman. She'll quit her job. She'll start living off of you exclusively. And the risk goes up. It goes up. Okay? Because she's now living with you, She's learning to hate you pretty good also, if she's a feminist woman. Now remember, these women we're talking about feminists, right? Which is 95% or more of women out there, fucking feminists. Ultimately, they're cock-hating, man-hating, gold-digging whores. And that's what they're after, is your gold, and they're the whore. So you, start, you can risk everything with them, right? They're learning to hate you. They don't like you as much. So your reward goes down, right? It goes down the longer you're with them. Fact of life, the way it goes. And your risk goes up. How do you risk things with a long-term, live-in type girlfriend? Well, the risk is, is 
she may learn to hate you so much that she'll move out and steal all your shit. She'll break all your shit. There's a bigger financial risk. Right? There is, of course, the legal risk where they destroy your entire life. But what other risks do they have? Well, they start talking you into doing stupid shit like buying cars. Right? Right? Little purchases. They start making you take vacations. What other risks? They start having you uh, interfering with your friendships. Literally, fucking with your friendships. With other men. They don't want to compete. They want all of your attention and all of your money and all of your time. And you get less reward and they start messing with your friendships. Some more risk there. Certainly, certainly less satisfaction. That's what we're in a relationship for, is to get something we want. To get something we think we need, but mostly what we want. All right, then we move up to marriage. Plain old marriage. Once they got you married, you can bet your ass. Right? You start running downhill. Whoops. My fucking chalkboard slid downhill, too. All right, your satisfaction level goes down. The longer you're with them as married, the more risk you face with less reward. You're actually working this way on the graph. Right? More risk, less reward. Same with this one here. More risk, less reward. More risk, less reward. And that's time-based. You would think time travels the other way, but it does not. You're fucking regressing when you have a live-in, girlfriend, wife, gold-digging whore, feminist bitch in your life. If this is what you want, now I'm not going to put you down, but if you want a bitch to ruin and dominate and fuck with your life, basically make you her bitch, then this is exactly what you want, and this is the exact pattern you go with. But you need to understand. And if they had done these fucking classes when I was a kid, I would have learned some valuable lessons. What we need to understand as men is the odds of being 100% satisfied and minimizing your risk are really fucking low. Right? 80% of marriages end in divorce. And that's where you pay out the big fucking dollar sign. That's where you take it in the shorts. You take the loss. Right there. Risk and reward. With the marriage, it goes right down. Down, down, down on the reward and the risk goes up. Meaning the longer you stay married, the more you pay. The longer you stay married, the more alimony. More of your shit that you've acquired together. She just takes. The longer you're together, the more she learns to hate you. Meaning she's going to plan more vengeful shit. That's right, more vengeful shit. And of course, you can pay the ultimate price. Yes, you can still be accused of rape even when you're married. She can accuse you of battery and assault. You go to prison. Right? Terrible shit. Terrible, terrible shit. Risk and reward. Is it worth it? Do you want the reward of marriage? What does that get you? It gets you less of what you want and more of what she wants. That is what being married to a feminist bitch gets you. So again, you're going, well, why do this at all? Why is anyone getting married? Because everyone thinks they're getting the magical you. Everyone thinks they're getting the magical unicorn. They think they're getting love. Boink, boink. When they say arrow through the heart, they ain't fucking kidding. These feminist whores think that they're uh, unicorns and that they're the princesses that you've always dreamed of and that you get the love arrow. No, that's a fucking arrow. I'm sorry. Maybe that's a knife. A knife in the heart. Right? That's what you're getting. You're getting your fucking heart cut out. Marriage plus kids. This is a tricky one. This is where I have a hard time saying, yeah, right? If you want kids, that's why you got married, you can be 100% satisfied with those kids. They're your kids. You love them. That's why you made them. But you risk everything to get those kids. And, uh, you know, apart from the kids, the reward section, it's zero. Down here, 100% satisfied, here's where you're sitting. And you risk everything. 
when you get a divorce from being married with kids, you're paying alimony or child, uh, spousal support. You're paying child support. Typically, they do something to destroy you because they want to destroy your relationship with your kids. So your 100% satisfaction when they destroy you, right? even that will drop down because your kids no longer act like they love you anymore. That is a huge risk. My sons, 100% satisfied with me. No risk because there's no wife in the way. Risk and reward for marriage with kids is fucking horrendous. Because I have seen what women do to men. They destroy their reputations. They destroy their jobs given a chance. Mine tried it. They destroy your relationship with your kids. Mine tried it. Some are so vindictive they won't quit until they've destroyed the children in an effort to destroy you. There is huge chance for reward with kids, if that's what you want. But the risk is 100%. You'll lose your house, your car, your job, your, your life, your, your, your fucking retirement. Everything goes away when you have kids with a woman that you're married to. That is what you risk. It's fucking horrible. Why? Why does it have to be so painful? Why do you have to risk everything? Why am I talking about something as beautiful as a relationship between a man and a woman? It should be something of beauty that we men celebrate. But it's not. It's something fucked up and horrendous. It is because of the social engineering program called feminism. You need to look at your relationships. This is why, right up here, this is why men don't want to get married with kids. This is why men don't want to get married at all. This is why men don't want live-in girlfriends. And this is why men want girlfriends, particularly for short periods of time, and then they'll get rid of the bitches as soon as they start nagging or fucking up. Why? Because men want maximum reward with minimum risk. Can you fucking blame us? Can you fucking blame us? Who could blame a man for wanting maximum reward and minimum risk? You can't blame us. If there are any women that watch these videos all the way through, how, co how the fuck can you blame us? No longer does the average woman want love. 